Hey everyone, just doing a video on oil filter removal tools. Um, there's three basic ones, there are others, but these are the three main ones. There's the band type, which is fits over the filter and when you turn it the band tightens on it and it fits a variety of filters. You can get different size ones of these. And it also, you know, it, the handle rotates on the thing so you can get it at different angles. Very handy. These are the most common things. Most people have these if you're going to do an oil filter, oil change. I'd recommend these. The second time are oil filter pliers. These are great. They're adjustable just like, you know, your sliding pliers. They just do as you'd think they would. They grab onto the pliers and turn. They got the three sets of teeth that bite in. And on these I'd really recommend just you don't need expensive ones. You're not biting into hardened steel that's going to dull these teeth over time. Oil filters are pretty soft and they shouldn't be on that tight that you need some super grip to grab them. So, I mean, get a mid-grade good pair. They shouldn't cost any more than 20 bucks for oil filter pliers and they'll last you all the time. Maybe unless you were doing, say, like oil changes constantly working in a lube shop or something. And the other kind is the, uh, I'm not sure exactly what these are called, grip type, spanner type. And they just go on. And you, put, you can put a ratchet on there and they, as you turn it, it tightens and spins the filter off. You reverse it and they go the other way and you can use it for putting a filter on too. So it has a half inch opening in there and it's also a hex head so you could use a ratcheting wrench or a regular wrench. That'll work. It, so it's good for getting into a variety of angles and places, you know, some awkward places. These are great to use. A lot of places these won't fit and these won't fit, those will fit. A lot of places these won't fit and those will fit. So I recommend having all three. They all work really well and they all have their place, but if, you can only, if you're only going to buy one, I would go with the, the oil filter pliers. I know people that work in shops that use these pretty much non-stop daily. And they just work. They're easy. They're quick. Um, these have been the standard for a long time. But again, they work. There's nothing wrong with them. Some of them come with a uh, almost rubber padding in there. It grips the filter a little better. Those are great. If you can get those, do. But if not, these will work too. Um, and these shouldn't cost you more than 20 bucks. These 10 to 20 bucks, 10 to 40 bucks maybe, depending. Again, you don't need super high quality. You're just grabbing an oil filter. You're not wrenching off a bolt. And they work good. So I do recommend all three, being as they're inexpensive. If you're doing a lot of oil changes or if you have multiple vehicles to maintain, it wouldn't hurt. And you can get these in different sizes. They'll, I mean, they expand quite large and and that's the largest size it'll do, which covers this filter. But they make smaller ones and larger. This is kind of a mid-size. See, that's the size. Um, so yeah, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching my video. Like if you want, and subscribe, please. Thanks.